I'm now recognizing Honorable Iako, who's the new member sworn in this morning in the Speaker's office, so it's her maiden speech. Honorable Iako. I can send him some two, some sanum two, some moose, and was yam. Tubega winners. Thank you, Speaker. Mm. We are not going to entertain debates about the costs of the state brought about by state damages caused by FISMA's full protest. When we are yet to address the true costs of freedom for blacks in post um, apartheid South Africa. It is clear that the ANC and the DA are colluding in destroying the future of FISMA's full activists. We cannot co-opt a language of free education whilst forgetting the youth that put their bodies on the line to bring these injustices to the forefront. Behind the criminalization, the abuse, the trauma, suspensions and exclusions from institutions of higher learning. Here we are talking about young people, individuals, and we will tell you their stories. Their stories, we must all acknowledge, are stories of heroes and heroines. Bongingosi Education Kanyele had had to stand on his feet preparing to write his final exam in the Durban Wasteful Prison because they do not have study desks for people waiting for trial. After missing his classes for six months whilst in prison, not only did he pass and complete his national diploma in public management and economics from the Durban University of Technology, out of four exams that he wrote whilst in prison, he was able to get four distinctions. But because of his activism during FISMA's full protest, today he is a convicted criminal awaiting sentencing. Amos Amla Monacheng was a second year informatics degree student at the University of Pretoria. Arrested in 2016, barred from continuing with his degree, and he now sits at home serving a one year house arrest sentence. Kanya Takesha, the first year media student at Footprint Media Academy, who did not have funds to study journalism at Wits University, today sits at Leocard Prison serving a five year jail sentence. Kanya was a first time offender with no previous convictions but now he has a criminal record. A law student at Verse University spent 27 days in jail after being arrested and denied bail because of his activism during FISMA's pro must fall protests. There are hundreds of others who sit in jail, in and out of course, instead of going to class to write their exams and complete their degrees. People who are accused of rape, murder, and all sorts of serious crimes get bail, but students who protested against high fees against exploitation of workers, entrenched colonial education at white universities, rape culture, and use of language to exclude and discriminate must either rot in jail or fight all the way to the highest court in the land to get bail. Honorable Speaker, not only have we criminalized and sent students to jail, hundreds are suspended from institutions of higher learning, with some with a lifetime ban. Yolanda Kyanki was expelled from Rhodes University in 2016 and further banned from the university for life. Surprise Silowe, Wandile Masango, Tulani Masilela, Mangaliso Sambo, students at King Sabata Dalingyebo Tivet College and commonly known as Rhodes War Women and many others were all expelled and cannot continue with their studies. What kind of society do we want when we put excelling students in prison with hardened criminals? What kind of society do we want when we deny students free education when it is only education that would make adults who can contribute meaningfully to society. We must ask ourselves, Minister, if we continue to criminalize students, what kind of adults do we want the students to be when they leave the gates of prison after two years, after three years, after five years of, impri of imprisonment? If we are truly a country invested in freedom for its people, we show it by showing off those brave enough to fight an unjust system will not be in prison and suspended or expelled for daring to be brave enough to fight for freedom. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Honorable Future Mkali. Minister. Honorable Mkali Pintokela Gese Suguti Uma Usa Um in Dagta Sisiago. Umfunzi Segeti Konabo speaker, Lobem Fung is about the good speaker, Nabo House Chepesi. Utos Uta. Ye banfa betu pela se afunzi sangi tinkumbuta losisi losala na bogotu funa gaba afunzi senjega. Order, honourable members. Chair, leave the future minister order, alone. Order, order, honourable member, take your seat. The honourable member was very disciplined speaking here. Honourable minister, order. 
order, Honorable Lose. Uh,